¿Qué pasó, Boxing Fanáticos? This is any other do another boxing analysis. This analysis is between Felix Diamante Verdejo, Body 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 Equatura Bone from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Now let's break it down. He's undefeated. Uh, he's an ex Olympian. I believe he won a, a silver medal. I believe he won a gold medal in the uh, Pan American Games. Let's get straight to it with the highlights of Felix uh, Diamante Verdejo, one of my favorite boxer punchers of this era. Uh, his style was, I mean, it's, it is currently still pretty flawless in my opinion. This is my opinion from what I see. And uh, the highlights don't do it justice, man. Just you got to see him fight live. Uh, his footwork, his timing, the way that he punches. Uh, he's a counter power puncher, which is very, very, very rare. Most of the time, counter punches hit, but they don't really knock the person out. This guy, if he hits you clean on your temple, your chin area, anywhere where you have a lot of nerves, you're done. Um, works the body very well. If he gets you on the ropes, he works upstairs, downstairs, downstairs, upstairs, and has a beautiful jab, which that's what caught my attention first is his jab. So very long, rangy, tough tough power jab that he throws but anyway let's get straight to it my people now as you see Verdejo taking his time in this film study it's not very long before he catches Zavala He's taking his time, stalking his opponent with the jab. Not, you know, rushing anything, staying patient. <clears throat> the first thing I look at is the confidence. Look at, just look at his confidence. He's very sure of himself. He knows what he's doing in there. He's following the game plan. Beautiful. Beautiful right hand. Graze the chin of Zavala. Zavala trying to do some good work of his own, throwing a jab out there. But Felix Verdejo hope that long jab to the body. Just is touching for location. Here it comes. Boom. Okay. Oh, knockout, 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 knockout. He, he doesn't know where he's at. They're counting. It's over. It's over. That right hand was just brilliant. I think they show it one more time. Here it comes. Boom. No más. Setting him up. Setting him up. Bam. Perfect right hand. By Felix Verdejo. Knockout. Grand Campeón, Futuro. In this video is just to highlight his skills, you know. I feel like a lot of people don't, don't know who he is because he got hurt in that motorcycle accident. And I'm just refreshing it, um, all of you guys' memory. Hopefully, Bob keeps promoting him to a very high extent. He was fighting four times a year, man. Beautiful left hook. Beautiful right hand. Just everything in sync. Everything well rehearsed. You never know what he's going to throw next. Left uppercut. Good side to side movement. Touched him with the left hook to the body. Fredejo taking his time. Jab. Oh, that right hook caught him. You can tell the guy that he's facing is not used to the speed, so he's just trying to cover up. But covering up, keeping your head down, you don't know where the punch is coming. Oh. And he's down. Can't take that much punishment. Verdejo ready for battle. It's up to six. Hey, come to me, son. Not to say, say, come to me, 
Finish him. That's it. He took enough punishment. That's a superstar. Face of a superstar. People, they call him the next Felix Trinidad. I say he's the first Felix Fidejo. Oh, stab jab. See, the guy's looking to hold to waste some time on the clock. Stop the onslaught. Beautiful footwork. Let's pause it. Well, we got to go back to that. That, that was fucking beautiful. Right here. Watch it. Watch it, people. Watch it. Look at that piece of footwork. Beautiful. The little things that people don't appreciate in boxing. See how patient he, He's a true veteran in there You know he's had over uh, 200 amateur fights So if you don't know how to fight after 200 amateur fights I don't know what to tell you But Dejo is a special special talent He owns the ring Every time he gets in there he's a ring general He's the ring general every time I like how he throws the left hook and turns. It's something that he practices in the gym. Oh, good counter shot. This guy is tough. Good body shot by Verdejo. See how he curves the right hook and, and throws his whole hip into it? Let's get to some other parts of the fight. Let me see. Of course, we know who won. Let's go to the next fight. All right, here we go. This is one of my favorite fights from Felix Vadejo. Watch how he went to the southpaw stance, which is not even his original stance, but just watch this. Watch how he baits him. Baits him, man. It's coming. Knockout, 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 knockout. And he's down. That's over. That's it. Wait until you see the slow mo, cause beautiful. Bam. Face first. And you know it's over when somebody lands face first. Let's show that one more time. Show that on slow mo. One more time. Adios, man. Look at that, man. The Dejo is the best, one of the best counter punches at 135 pounds to 140 that you're going to see. And you knew it was over. You didn't have to punch him again. You could have hit him again. But that's that sportsmanship of uh, Diamante. Beautiful combinations. He has that one punch knockout power And uh, he can fight going backwards Which is very important He can fight going forward uh, Mid range is, That's his bread and butter is mid range but Because of his leak at the weight class But I really like the way Fredejo controls the fight With his jab With his footwork he just caught his opponent with a beautiful straight right hand. 
Verdejo using some head movement to get inside. Catching his opponent at will now. Jumping on him. Overhand rights. Not wasting anything. Overhand right again. Left hook to the body. And down goes his opponent. And people say, can he do this to people who are like uh, Robert Issa Jr., Devin Haney, uh, you know, top names at 135 and 140? Well, it's only to be seen. It's to be seen, but I feel like this is the guy. If he, ooh, beautiful. If he trains 100%, like he did for all these other fights, there's no way he cannot win. I mean, he just has that much talent. Oh, beautiful right hand. Yeah, that's over. Steve Smoger jumps in. Game over. La Grande. Fuerte, fuerte, fuerte. Steps in and calls a halt to this contest with an official time of one minute twenty seven seconds of the fourth round. Your winner, by way of technical knockout, el vencedor por knockout técnico, el body body boy. Luis Babon counting. Will he get up? Well, they hold thing off on his opponent. Throwing hooks, uppercuts. He throws it all, man. That's what makes it special. Sets it up with the jab. If he gets you on the ropes and you're not punching, he lets you know that he, hey, I'm El Rey. I'm the king of the ring. Beautiful right hand. Then he switched with the left hook, turning his hips into it. So beautiful. And you see how he keeps his balance with everything. Missed that one. At least it looked like it, but I guess he had enough. Overhand right. Left uppercut. Left hook. Straight, straight jab. Boom. Overhand right. Left hook to the chin. I mean, you only can take so much, you know. That's a special, that's a special boxing champion coming up here. I'm telling you, people. Last but not least, last fight before he had the motorcycle accident. Here we go. It's supposed to be his toughest test to date. Nahara. Perfect left hook to the body. Beautiful left uppercut drops Nahara. Overhand right. Perfect left hook to the temple. Good right uppercut and Sao Paul stands showing his. I mean, he, he, he can just face all adversity, man. Right uppercut. So versatile. Overhand right. Left uppercut. And the orthodox stance drops him. Bam! Left hook to the chin. Down goes Nahara. Yo, Dejo. And that's the end, my people. I just had to show you Felix Diamante Verdejo. Be back to see more boxing news analysis and updates.